Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man. Welcome to a new series. Yeah, that's right. We're going to start a new series, new planet today. We're going to dive deep into the Pyanodon mods. Yeah. Now, I know I've covered the Pyanodon mods uh, already on the channel, uh, but I figured I'd start fresh here. Uh, I've been playing off camera for a little bit with the mods. And I get a basic understanding of the, at least the beginning, of what the mod set is all about. So let's go here actually and go into what our mods will be for this series. Uh, I'm going to do advanced substations. Um, now I'm not going to go in deep into what each mod does, but this gives us more range on power poles for late game. Uh, some lighting um, help here. Uh, with the Afraid of the Dark mod, um, Alien Biomes, most definitely. We are going to dive into a new biome here. Uh, I've already gone ahead and picked out the, the um, what it's going to look like, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, alien Loot Economy, yes. Uh, we're going to be playing with the Hyper Modules and such, and with the ores uh, for better weapons and such, with the Alien Loot Economy. That's going to be exciting. That's going to actually... Um, make it a little tougher but I do tweak it down a little bit so we'll go into more details about that in a little bit artillery defense now um, I haven't actually seen this yet because it's like a late game item um, so that's going to help us with um, long range rocket turrets and such so that should be exciting uh, ATC tower uh, that gives us better radar coverage um, auto deconstruct most definitely um, so if you're running past like miners and such your uh, bots or whatever you have will pick that up um, auto deconstruct yes that's m definitely a quality of life mod it, m it must be uh, big behemoths yes we're going to add bigger biters to this playthrough so very excited about that big laser turrets um, yeah, why not, right? Big pump jacks, also self-explanatory. Uh, it gives you better coverage on a on an oil field instead of putting little tiny ones all over the place. You could put a big one. Never actually p uh, personally played around with that, but why not? Big monsters. Uh, just keep a lookout for those big monsters in late game. Biter factions. All right, so my quick explanation about this um, turns a, the one peaceful biters into different factions so we'll see what that does it just puts them on different teams and biters fight with each other uh, so that will maybe make it harder but again what I'm gonna end up doing is turning expansion off because I want to get the grasp of the Pyanodon mods. Um, and yes, I don't want to totally take the biters out, but um, I do want to make it somewhat hard, but not that hard. Because I want to focus on learning the Pi mods. Right. Pyanodon factions, bottleneck, it's a given. Uh, deadlocks, crafting machines, and stacking belt boxes. Um, That'll just help us with uh, stacking bus and so forth. Um, even distribution. Okay, we'll go ahead and use the even distribution mod that just lets us um, input into uh, crafting machines and such at an equal pace. Okay, Factorial Standard Library, that's just a given. FE, FNEI uh, for uh, quick uh, recipes for pies and such uh, that is also a given ghost placer express I've seen other youtubers use this mod and I fell in love with it so yes we're gonna use it uh, as long as the item is in the inventory and you mouse over it it should place the item I know it's cheating a little bit but hey uh, I like to use blueprints so a long reach most definitely um, to get past certain obstacles to reach something or pick up um, 
turrets out of reach or your dead body <laughs> um, def most definitely uh, nanobots yes I'm gonna use nanobots in this playthrough just set them up as quick as I can uh, just to be able to utilize picking up things from the ground faster and so forth natural evolution buildings um, this mod um, makes it where you have to uh, chain buildings if you want to make a wooden power pole um, oh, actually no if you want to make a medium power pole it requires a wooden power pole to make and so forth that's a quick example natural evolution enemies um, biters will spawn and grow as the hyper decks and there's some kind of calculation in the background on this uh, but it adds bigger biters to the game uh, nuclear fuel um, just adding a mod for the nuclear fuel cycle to differentiate between power and weapon production uh, that should make it a little interesting okay this is where the juicy is the juice is pionodon's cold processing pionodon's fusion energy we're not going to do high tech because uh, it it makes it extremely hard and i just want to get the basics down and learning the mod this makes it much this makes a lot more changes to the game as is these three here so we'll just stick with coal processing, fusing energy, and Pionodon's industry. I like that icon, by the way. <laughs> okay, and uh, Pionodon's raw ores we're not going to use because it makes um, it adds like Bob's ideas to it. And I uh, just want to cover one crazy mod for this uh, playthrough. So continuing with the mods. Run speed toggle, um, Nexus. If you're watching, you got me hooked on this mod. Yeah, I'll give you the credit for that one. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna use that. That just lets me toggle between the three running speeds. Um, so don't don't worry about it. I'm not always be on the fastest one, uh, but I will utilize that middle that middle speed uh, most of the time. S uh, science cost tweaker mod. Um, now I've used this mod uh, with uh, heavier mods sets, so I'm not sure how this is going to tweak uh, Pyonodon, but I like to to keep it and see what happens with that. Maybe add a little twist to the playthrough. I've turned on space exploration. Uh, I don't need like triple layer of hardness for this playthrough, um, so we're gonna just stick with the Pyonodons. Uh, squeak through is, a, is definitely uh, something we need. Uh, time tools. Uh, this I probably will not use on camera. This just uh, tweaks the speed of the game. Um, that also tweaks the speed of all aspects of the game, including biter and evolution. So we've got to keep an eye on that. Uh, we're not going to do tiny star or to do list. Upgrade planner and builder. And well, ticks big. Bertha artillery sounds. I don't know. I guess it is a it adds to the artillery for the rocket turrets. So we'll just leave it on. Uh, warehousing. Um, Pi Industries got some sort of where is it? Um, Pi's Industries got s like a warehousing aspect built into it. So we'll use that for our storage and that pretty much covers the mods for this playthrough I will have a, dis um, a list of the mods in the description for you guys that want to try to play along here let's go ahead and dive into the game here all right <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is go to a new game all right I already picked out a seed here uh, again that's one eight nine eight seven three three nine three three is the seed now that would be up on the screen for a little bit here so if you want to jot that down you can we are going to tweak the iron ore to 150 frequency same thing with the copper ore coal the raw borax the molly i'm going to call it the molly ore because i'm, I'm going to butcher that every time i try to say that oops 150 across the board here. Now, bromium, regolites, regolites, the uranium, we're going to keep at 100. Volcanic pipe, 
got to do 150 as well crude oil 150 now these uh, one two three four five ores here types are added with the pies size we're gonna keep um, let's do 150 why not a stone will just leave regular so we don't have that much of a hassle of getting resources here okay and the richness will jump that to 150 as well um do i want to do yeah you know what let's just do everything across the board 150. okay uh, we're going to go ahead and preview that map <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to start on the snow biome with the purple biome to the west this should be really exciting all right let the resources spawn here in the meantime we're going to go into terrain and we're going to turn cliffs off here That's pretty much what terrain we're going to change. Now the enemies I mentioned we're going to go ahead and turn off expansion. Yep. <clears throat> I know. That's kind of cheating. We're going to leave evolution on though. Okay. And enemy bases we're going to leave frequency and size the same. Starting area we're going to leave the same. All it's default or standard. Advanced settings here. We're going to go to recipes normal. Technologies normal. Research queue, let's go to always. Pollution, we're going to leave everything the way it is. Okay. And we've already had gone ahead and tweaked all the resources. This is a preview of what the map's going to look like. I'm really excited about this um, because we have all, all our basic um, resources pretty much close to home, including oils not that far away. Mod settings, really quick. I'm not going to change anything about the startup. Or the big monsters or deadlocks. Really, nothing on the first page here. Um, just taking a quick glance, though, just to make sure. Yeah, signs, cost tweak, we're going to leave everything the way it is. Oh, map, we are going to leave, I believe, everything also the way it is. Time tools, yep. And per player, we are pretty much going to leave everything way it is I did tweak something before when I was playing but I'm not sure if I remember what that was take away fuel rods industry I think it might have just been that research queue and then I'm thinking about it okay if we come across any issues and I need to change anything in the mod, I will let you guys know going forward. All right, so we're going to confirm this. And it looks like everything has stayed the same. So what I'm going to do here is let's roll our brand new intro for this series. And I'll meet you guys on the other side, OK? <laughs> All right, guys, so we have made it here. We have crash land on our planet, and let's go ahead and proceed with dealing with this new planet. Yay. <laughs> all right, so with all our mods in place and the uh, map description and settings all set up and ready to go, uh, let's go ahead and proceed with this playthrough. All right, I'm so excited about this series, guys. You have no idea <laughs> I've been um, like I said for a couple of months now playing with Piano down mods and a mod set thank you Nexus again for um, putting this um, mod mod set together pretty much I did a little tweaks on it I did add a couple things and I know took the space exploration out but that's not what the focus of this series is um, gonna see if I can tackle the pie mods pretty much by myself here so yeah, very excited about this. All right, so we need to get our basic setup up and running here. All right, all right. So if we hit F1, right, 
we can run a little faster if we hit F1 again. I mean, we can pretty much fly across the map. All right, and then back to F1, you see that zero there? We go back to normal speed. All right, so I'm gonna do just the middle speed pretty much. I know that is cheating, but um, I, I don't wanna waste time running around. That is the idea behind that. All right, so we got some stone here. Let's go ahead and get some iron cooking. All right, let's alt tab that. All right, I got some trees for later on power poles. All right, is this the borax? Yes, this is borax. We have some in our base. We have some up there. Oh, we got plenty. Borax. All right, borax everywhere. <laughs> Eventually, gonna need to mine this up because um, that's going to uh, help us get to green science. Yes. I don't have to worry about it for red science, uh, but it is a thing for green science. <clears throat> all right. So, eventually, I'm going to need to pick all this stuff up and get rid of all this stuff. Um, but right now, we're not worried about that. We are worried about just getting a basic factory online and possibly, well, we're not really anywhere close to dealing with any of the sciences. Um, <clears throat> Red science is now called protective coating. Actually, you know, we need the protective coating to make the sacrificial electromagnetic, which is an electromagnetic core, electromagnetic coils, and two protective coatings. So it's actually two red sciences to get to red science. Oh boy. Um, so that leaves, that actually is the science tweaker that I left on. That's okay though. Um, should give us a lot of fun things to work with. Uh, not a lot of things are unlocked from the start, uh, so we will have to research things. Like we don't even have access to automation until we get the sacrificial electromagnetic coils or science packs, which are the new red science packs in this game online. Okay, and then Crates one is the stacking components for deadlock stacking, uh, which is locked behind automation. Um, so we have a lot to cover this series. It's going to be a while. So sit back and enjoy it, and uh, we'll see where this series takes us, right? It's going to be exciting. I just know, I can feel it. So the actual series name is called Something About Pi. Uh, it should be called Something About Mods, right? <laughs> but uh, it's a fitting, it's a fitting um, name for a series. And um, I don't know if everybody's going to enjoy that name, but I've been playing around with naming the series uh, for a couple of weeks now. Actually, I've been thinking about doing a, a playthrough like this. Uh, so. Yeah, we'll just see where it takes us, right? All right, so we have iron. We need to get something about copper online. Now, copper is behind the cables. This is pretty much going to be the same for green circuits. That is not what I'm worried about. Is the science tweaker and green red science for pies is what's going to. <laughs> get me going a little bit here and also we have the alien loot economy which is which is what this hyper level module is for now there's already been some biter kills so that's the factions fighting with each other so that should be interesting All right so our ultimate goal for this episode other than the series intro is to get some sort of power online uh, that is what I want to see if we can get to now, can we make two of these? Yes, we can. All right. Get some iron going here. Make a start of a little flower here for coal. All right, I'll just jump start that with one piece of wood. All right, can we mine this? No, we cannot mine that. Okay. 
five syngas per mining operation. So we need the syngas to mine the borax. All right. So eventually this tree, little forest here is going to be in our way. Um, so I do want to go ahead and chop it down a little at a time because obviously that's going to eat up pollution as well and that's what we're going to want. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and set up some more iron operation here. We'll pick up some rocks in the general vicinity. Now, if we do track down any of the black or the coal biome, that leaves us a lot of coal rocks, and that is that's ending up being one of my favorite biomes of the alien biome setup. <coughs> but we'll see what that brings us to. Alright, let's add two more of those, and we're going to track down copper, which is up here. That's not good. That's not bad. And then we have stone, more stone here, which we have a lot of stone rocks. I don't even know if we're going to have to. Yeah, eventually we're going to have to mine up stone, make stone bricks and so forth. All right, so let's complete our first part of the flower here for coal. All right. We'll just go ahead and deal with putting coal in manually for now. All right. So like I said, I want to see if I can get some power online, which means we will need to get copper smelting going here. And power, we could probably could just throw up here. There shouldn't be any issues with biters. Now, I can run across this little sections here. Does that mean the biters can as well? Probably. Can we get across here? Yeah, we can. All right, so this is going to be a little choke point here. This might be a spot where biters come in. See, we can run on here, but we can't ride on this part here, so that should be okay. And there's no biter nests up here, no threat. We'll be okay then. So then power can be put pretty much here, really. And then run it to the east here. All right, but enough is enough with that. Let's go ahead and get copper online. Oh, I should have put it up here. Okay. All right. We got some coal in the copper for now. We got plenty of coal here now. And this needs coal as well. All right. <clears throat> so access to copper now gives us access to some power poles. Beginning with that, um, let's see. Can we make a offshore pump yet? No, we cannot. Uh, let's pick up some more iron because we always need iron, right? Coal and copper. So this is just the basic start. There we go. We can make an offshore pump. Let's make one set of underground pipes. And we need a little bit more iron. All right. Just a lot of copper and uh, coal into that right now. And then the power is going to be up here, which is going to be a little stretch. We are close to a biter base. Let's see, we do have one base that's going to be in pollution range soon. Uh, that is going to be the first base we're going to have to take out very, very soon. Um, in fact, I might need to use a different approach to take that biter base out. We have access, we don't have access to turrets yet. And turrets are locked behind these sacrificial electromagnetic 
science packs. Um, but we do have access to these dart turrets and, and these darts. <clears throat> uh, so we might be making a lot of those to attack the biters with. Uh, but that's not going to be this episode, of course, because, in fact, we are pretty much already over time here. Uh, but I do want to get power on. So I'm going to keep you guys here just a little bit longer. And we'll go ahead and get some power going. All right. So speaking of power, we're going to need a boiler. And we'll do two steam engines. And we have some power poles. Okay. So running power. You know, we're going to have to eventually run coal up here. Let's get rid of some of this. Gonna need this supplies anyway. Okay, so power is gonna be the same again. We're just gonna run a pump. There's an underground pipe to there. All right, we're gonna do a boiler to two steam engines. Oops. Okay, and then run power here. I want to do here. Take that one out for now. And we'll just run power down to our newly acquired area base on this new planet. Okay, let's just do a coal run around here. How do these look? They are good those all right copper we have plenty of copper plenty of iron all right so that pretty much gonna wrap up this episode we got power going uh, actually we did not get power going I I don't know what I'm talking about all right all right now we got power going And then we'll just run the rest of these power poles down to our home air base area. All right. So now we got power going. We got our basic iron operation going and we got some coal. In fact, we can run some more of those for copper. And we got some coal, uh, not copper. Uh, what I just made for iron smelting. I'm sorry, guys. Iron smelting. We're gonna run that for copper. I mean coal. Oh my goodness. And then we'll just make one more really quick here for copper. And then we'll wrap this episode up. And we need some more coal here to do so. Put the copper in the coal, right? <laughs> All right, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Something About Pie. This has been Eddie Man, and if you haven't yet, please go ahead and consider throwing me a like for this video. It really helps me and the channel out. And if you wanted to stay up with all things Eddie Man, please consider subscribing to the channel as well. But again, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Factorial, and hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.